The safest way of transporting flammable liquids and gases from A to B is a pipeline. In Germany, there are around 40,000 kilometers of underground pipeline, and the biggest enemy is rust. Protecting pipelines from rust takes top priority. To this end, on the one hand, passive components such as coatings and cladding are used, and on the other, active components such as cathodic corrosion protection systems. Due to their good insulation, pipelines are prone to interference voltage. This is particularly the case where pipelines follow the same route as railway or high voltage lines. These interference voltages present a risk to people working on pipelines. Apart from that, they can cause so-called alternating current corrosion in the pipes and thus adversely affect transport safety. As a plant operator, I'm responsible for the safe operation of around 10,000 kilometers of gas pipeline. For me, it's extremely important that all systems function perfectly and that the safety of all those working on the pipeline is guaranteed at all times. I constantly monitor my pipeline in order to detect any interference voltages at an early stage and reduce them to a safe and harmless level. Due to the energy transition, strong load functions on the high voltage lines increasingly influence pipelines. That doesn't make the safe operation of gas pipelines any easier. There are many types of external voltages that negatively affect pipelines. Let's take a closer look at the following sources of interference. Electric railways can cause stray currents. These are coupled via the ground into the pipeline in places where it's flawed. The potential of the pipeline is changed and causes corrosion. High voltage lines generate electromagnetic fields which are injected into parallel pipelines. Too high touch voltages and alternating current corrosion, so-called AC corrosion, are also an undesirable consequence here. Earth faults and lightning strikes cause interference voltages. A potential gradient is created in the ground. If this reaches the pipeline, high overvoltages can spread throughout the entire pipeline network. My primary protection goal is keeping the pipeline and the people around it safe. For me, the top priority is to master these challenges and discharge interference voltages to earth in the right place and by optimum means. This is why I rely on the smart decoupling device VCSD from Dean. For me, the perfect earthing measure to fulfill my protection goal safely and smartly without impairing the protection potential of my cathodic protection system. During regular inspections of the pipeline, conventional decoupling devices can have a negative effect on the measurement results. VCSD gives me the option of an electronic remote switch-off during the measurement so that the measurement results are not influenced. Personal protection is also maintained. At the same time, I can integrate the decoupling device in my monitoring system. This protection solution, as a complete device including a CE declaration of conformity, is only available from Dane. VCSD stands for Voltage Controlled Smart Decoupling. Its main task is to conduct all overvoltages to earth. For this reason, it's best to install the decoupling device between the pipeline and the low impedance earthing system. It functions like a filter which, above a certain level, limits a broad spectrum of overvoltages to earth, without influencing primary cathodic protection measures. The limit values for the maximum voltage permissible on the pipeline are defined in standards and guidelines. The level of the permissible voltage depends on how long it lasts. Laboratory tests show that the VCSD device always limits the voltage to below the required limit values. In order to control different forms of overvoltages with a single device, the VCSD incorporates several precisely coordinated units. The transient unit limits transient overvoltages. The power unit limits temporary and long duration overvoltages. The control unit, as the name says, takes over the control function. The interaction of these protective units has been tested in the laboratory and is CE certified. The user gets a safe and tested system solution. VCSD has a large number of interfaces. These enable its integration into higher level management systems. 
the digital input turns the decoupling device on and off. Via the analog output, the instantaneous value of the discharge current is indicated in the form of a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. The digital output is activated in the event of a function critical device error. An additional protective device can be activated to ensure maximum safety even in the event of a fault. The integrated USB interface evaluates external voltage, discharge current and other process data of the VCSD. This unique combination of functionality and safety is a milestone in the field of decoupling devices. For me, this means VCSD provides safe and smart protection for my pipeline and all those working on it. That is to say, corrosion protection for my pipeline and safety for my employees. Since I can integrate the smart decoupling device in the CPN management systems, I'm always informed about the status of my pipeline. An enormous relief and support in my daily work. With the smart decoupling device, entire pipeline routes can be integrated in existing monitoring systems. VCSD gives you the security you need to effectively protect your employees and keep your systems highly available.